look for mobile 13 though in our area. Looks like the rain is easing up a bit in some parts tonight, so that's a good sign. Yes, we kind of saw it on and off again, yeah. but now yeah. pretty clear. Yeah, and it looks like uh, the pretty much the severe weather threat for us is, is going to be over with. So, well, it certainly is over here in Baltimore. Good. It really never existed for the most part, but for the eastern shore, got probably about another 30 minutes and then we're done with it altogether. Yeah. So let's get right to the radar. We do have a new tornado warning that has just been issued uh, for parts of southwest Delaware. You can see there it is right there. We'll go down there in just a second, but you can see we're tracking some heavy rain that is still occurring across parts of uh, Cecil County. You can see up towards the Elkton area, down towards Cecilton. This uh, area of rain is moving out pretty quickly just some spotty showers behind that down into Caroline County some pretty decent downpours there Greensboro down towards the Denton area back into sections of Dorchester as well as Talbot County but this is what we're watching right here the area of low pressure to our west the warm front is uh, basically the the leading edge of the warmer air that is beginning to surge northward so it's really right along this front is where we're seeing this storm just kind of riding along the front and uh, that's a lot of times where you can find the best wind shear. It's like right along the warm front. Uh, and if these storms happen to ride along that, they can sometimes produce tornadoes. There is a tornado warning that has now been issued here for portions of uh, southwest Delaware here. You can see out towards, uh, uh, looks like Laurel uh, by 530. And getting up towards Georgetown, if it holds together, by 546. This thing is moving very quickly at about 55 miles an hour. But notice once these storms move out of the region, we're done with this. This is really all that's left of the storms here across our area. So again, you got those severe thunderstorm warnings still in effect for sections of Wicomico County as well as eastern Dorchester up towards Caroline County. And then once these exit the area, we are all finished with the system. And it looks like tornado watch should be canceled before 7 o'clock tonight. As temperatures are warm as down towards the south and east, this is where the air is most favorable for some of those severe storms. Temperatures into the upper 40s uh, you get here in Baltimore and points out towards the west. The winds are now starting to shift out of the north northeast, then become northerly here and then northwesterly later tonight as low pressure bypasses the area. So remaining cloudy with chances for showers here through late tonight. But again, the system is kind of making its way out of the region here pretty quickly. But then we've had the upper level low, which is out towards the west. That is what's going to move over our area tomorrow and give us another opportunity for some rain. So here's a look at your future cast. Again, chances for rain will continue as we go through the evening hours overnight. Tonight, we should begin to dry out, maybe starting off the morning with some sunshine, but the clouds will fill back in with a chance for some spotty showers here during the afternoon. That'll continue through the evening hours. So here's a look at your forecast for tomorrow. A mostly cloudy sky with chances for showers here during the afternoon. The rain will not be nearly as heavy as it's been, and it'll be more spotty in nature, so you won't see rain all the time. And some of you may not even see any rain at all. It'll be very hit or miss across the region. And across the state, we're looking at temps ranging anywhere from the upper 50s, lower 60s, out towards, uh, looks like Snow Hill, and down towards Crisfield and Ocean City. But you get out into the mountains, there's a chance for some accumulating snow out in the portions of Garrett County. So we'll be watching that as well. First alert, seven day forecast. Temperatures staying in the 50s here through Saturday. We're going to gradually get rid of the rain chances. We'll still have a chance tomorrow and maybe a very slim chance on Friday. But then as we get into Saturday, we should start to see a little bit more sunshine. By the time we head towards Sunday, mostly sunny skies for the eclipse on Monday, partly cloudy. So we will see at least some sunshine here to start the week. Hopefully we'll be able to see it here. 64, then back up to 71 on Tuesday before more rain moves in late Tuesday in the Wednesday. Can we just get a couple of days of sunshine? I was just about just to say couple. that. It's, it's just this pattern of wind, but up eventually we'll get there. We'll okay. get there. That rain had to peak back in at the end yeah. of that seven days. <laughs> it's had to. All right, if you're a